Find out what happened both on the field and in the emergency room coming up next. During all the years and the hundreds of games I've coached and umpired, this was the scariest injury I witnessed. To set this up, and out of respect for the catcher who'd want you to see more than just his misery, we'll go back a couple innings. Earlier in the game, the opposing team had runners on the corners. They attempted to steal, and this is what happened. After this throw, the catcher said that he thought it was his best pop time ever. It was close at about 2.23 seconds for a 13U player, but not quite his best. Also earlier in the game, there was a pass ball. That was so rare in 2019 that in 180 full innings as catcher, this catcher just had four pass balls up to this game. When he came off the field, his first words were, I lost it in the lights. That is an important comment to remember for later. Now we get to the incident. On, With runners on first and third again, the other team oh, knew we hard. threw down last time, and that time the runner on third stayed. This time was different. While the catcher cannot remember anything, it was determined that the ball was lost in the lights on the way back. Not seeing the ball, it nicked his glove and hit him just above the right eye, knocking him out for some time. He was not able to walk off the field, but was carried off and laid down behind the dugout until an ambulance arrived and took him to the hospital where three CT scans were performed showing no problems. He was released on two-week concussion protocol, therefore ending his baseball season. Who's here? Who's here? Hey, somebody needs to get in there. Who's here? I can't see them. Well, you're just going to have to be a mystery. I don't know why I'm here. I shouldn't be here. 